Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the first of two unboxing videos of the Sticky Club subscription uh, advent calendar. I forgot what they were called. So if you watched my last video, which I'm gonna link right up there, which was the November Sticky Club subscription unboxing, you know that I actually ordered all three of these. I ordered the cute, the pop, and the retro. I filmed my unboxing of the of the cute and then I accidentally deleted it because I'm, you know, gifted like that. Um, and so what I have is the now the retro and the pop, which I'm going to unbox. I think today we're gonna unbox the pop and I'm gonna save the retro for next week. Um, so yeah, so this is, um, and I'm gonna link my Sticky Club account down below, which if you'd like to give the Sticky Club subscription a try, you can click that link. I think you get a little bit of a discount. This is not a sponsored video. I bought these with my own money. Um, they did not ask me to do this. Um, but I, um, but yeah, you can get a little bit of discount and then I can get a little bit of a discount as well. Okay, this is the first set of advent calendars I've had since I was a little kid. Um, and we didn't have like, I think maybe one year we had ones that, I don't know, had surprises behind the days, but for the most part it was just hanging up like certain ornaments on certain days. So I'm kind of excited for this. So they each come in this, um, and I'm going to take it out of its little packaging, but this really adorable kind of, um, I don't even know what you would call it, like... Oh, come on, use your words. Like a little binder, like a little notebook. It's like a spiral bound thing and then inside it has the envelopes. I'm gonna see if I can actually make you all just a little bit taller and get uh, maybe a better angle on this. Yeah, that's better. Um, so they have all 25 days and then inside each of the envelopes is gonna be a sticker sheet. So I'm actually gonna turn it this way so that I can now, I'm gonna leave it this way. Um, and I'm gonna do my best not to ruin these number stickers, mostly because they're really adorable and I could see myself using them in the future. Um, nice, I got the first one off. I spoke too soon, no I didn't. <laughs> um, so for day number one, and if you wanna be surprised by this, then you know, I would recommend skipping this video. Um, day number one, and they're not all going to be um, holiday themed, which I think is super cute, cool because that means I can use these year round. Okay, so the first one that we have is this really cute like constellation animal set. Let me pull this up closer um, with all sorts of little animals and constellations. This is going to be really nice. Um, I'm going to try and tell you what I'm going to do with these because I have made, I've got plans for every single piece of this. I don't wanna put this to waste. So this sticker set is gonna stay with me because it's gonna be perfect for my 2020 bullet journal. Set that off to the side. I wish that I had brought my sticker notebook in here because as I take these stickers off, I'd have a place to stick them. They're kind of big, but they act, they're actually peeling off really nicely. Um, and I'll put them in my sticker notebook and then use them later. So, let's see what day number two is. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Okay. So, this one is a Christmas-themed one. It's on clear paper, and it's just got a whole bunch of really adorable kind of holiday decorations. This will be really nice um, for, I guess, for me for this year and for next year. Now, this actually happened with one of their sheets that I got in the November set too, the kind of the backing came off. I'm not gonna peel this one off though. I'm gonna try and keep it in good form. So I'll hang on to that one too. Um, maybe I'll set it apart and have like a special place just for holiday stickers. So while I peel off this three, one of the, th the reasons that I kind of caved and got myself these was because they promised that you could reuse these binders for something. Um, so I was really excited by that concept by, you know, reusing and not wasting. So that was really exciting to me. And I'd love to know in the comments what you think you would use these for. I already know what I'm using one of them for, but I would love to know kind of what you think these would be useful for. All right. This one is interesting. So we have buildings, different kinds of shops in stores. This is really cute. This is not totally my style. 
Um, I don't see myself using this in a bullet journal. I mean, maybe in my journal journal, but I think I actually get more use of this at school. So I'm gonna put this in a separate pile to take with me to work. And either I will use it, one of my colleagues will use it, or I will um, give it to the kids to use. Um, surprisingly, they really like having access to the stickers. They're high schoolers. Oh no, this four is not gonna come up, is it? There we go. Oh, I tore it just a little bit. Mm, that makes me sad. All right, let's see what we've got in day four. Get the white paper out so that we can see clearly. Oh, this is cute. It's a little Happy Mail set, like a little um, Happy Mail theme. So we've got like all sorts of letters and postal, like postal items. Um, let me go back to the bottom so you can see everything clearly. This is super cute. This is cute. I'm going to definitely hang on to this. I haven't done a lot of Happy Mail this year. Um, this year has been, I don't know if you've, if you noticed, but if you'll see like a gap in my posting from like August of 2019 to we're now in November of 2019 because I wanted to take a month off for the beginning of the school year and then everything kind of just went to Hades in a handbasket. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Look at these absolutely adorable stickers. Oh, this is so cute. These are classic. And they're, you know, they're winter themed, but they're not super Christmassy, so these will be perfect. You can probably hear one of my dogs whining in the background. Um, I was just supposed to take like a month kind of break um, to get back into the school year because I'm a teacher. But um, shortly after that, I discovered that I had an injured shoulder, um, which, you know, it's actually my left shoulder and I'm left-handed. I might just say goodbye to these numbers because they're not coming up the way, oh wait, wait, this one is the way that I wanted them to. Um, I found that I had an injured shoulder um, and it was my dominant shoulder and that was awful. And then I actually fell at school and really injured my foot. Um, and it's kind of been a whole thing to get back into it. Okay, this is day six, and what we have here are adorable little butterflies. Again, this is not super my style. These are really bright, and they're really cute. I mean, I really like the color schemes, but I just don't see myself using them too much. Um, I think I'll take these to school as well. Um, so yeah, so as I open up day seven, I was so going to just take a month hiatus, but things have been really rough for me, uh, medically speaking. Um, and I just needed time to kind of recoup myself and get back into the groove of things. And I think, I mean, yes, my shoulder is still broken and well, yes, my foot is still broken and everything, but I am super hopeful that, you know, I can get back into the groove. So this one is not holiday themed either for day seven and it is candy themed. I don't see myself using this so much. So I'm gonna put this into the stack that I'm gonna to take to school and offer to a colleague and offer to a friend. But, um, so yeah, I mean, I'm back, I guess I'm finally back to making videos and I'm kind of really excited about it. I have tried really hard to get back into my art and I have found um, that I really love watercolor and I'm doing a lot more art. So I'm thinking about doing some live sessions and some, uh, journal with me's and some plan with me's that might be live or might be, I don't know, done on Twitch or something like that. And if that's something you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. Okay, we have another winter theme, but not Christmas theme. This is so cute. These are little blue houses and trees, and I just cannot get over how adorable that is. That one's definitely going into the keep stash. We're almost at the halfway mark. I will say I'm really I'm really pleasantly surprised by these. I mean, the Sticky Club brand is always kind of been really good with quality, but um, I'm, you know, 25 times three, which is like, I don't know, 75? Yeah, 75. That's a lot of stickers to release all at once, and they've done a smash up job of it. These are so awesome. These are moon phases. I have, love the moon and I love tracking the phases. These are gorgeous and I love, I love 
the new moon is just a silver ring and I love that it has all of the phases. Most of the sticker sheets I get for the moon just have, you know, the the big waning and the little, you know, like the waning and the waxing, like one of each and then the full and the new and I tore this one a little bit. Um, and then the full and the new, this one has like a whole bunch of them. That's really cool. Okay, so for day 10, oh, these are cute. These are fish. Not my style, a little bright. Definitely going to take these to work. My students will love these. They remind me of that rainbow fish story. And I can't remember it now, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It's a, like a story about a rainbow fish and he's like super bright and sparkly, but he doesn't fit into like the, the fishy, what are they called? Um, the school, the school of fish. And then he learned, and then like, I think, I think they're being chased by a, um, a big fish or a shark. And so he gives up one of his scales and they become like all shiny and that's how he saves all of his friends. That's super cute. Okay, this one is sushi. I love sushi. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. This is really nice. Yeah, definitely keeping this one <laughs> in my own personal stash. Um, I don't remember. Oh, because the fish stickers. That's what I was going for. All right, folks, this is officially the halfway mark. I think I'm doing better on time in this video than I did in the original one that I filmed and then promptly deleted. Um, uh, these numbers are like nice high quality stickers and I really like them. They're just kind of a pain to, oh, this is so cool. Okay. I keep interrupting myself. I'm sorry. These are cut out. They look like little cutouts from trees and they show all of the rings. I don't know if it's picking it up, but these are foiled. There we go. Just a little shimmer. These are awesome. I'm so for my 2020 bullet journal, I am doing a um I'm trying to do a, like a whole year of like nature theme. Um and those are going to be perfect. I might be about to say goodbye to the numbers. I don't know. I wish I had brought my thing in there. Oh my gosh. I'm like not, I'm not even showing you guys. These are amazing stickers. I love these. These are all women, and this, that one says strong woman on it. Uh, we've got one down here that says flow. These are amazing, and they're inclusive, too. I love that. I love being able to use, like, multicultural stickers and inclusive stickers in my Bujo because, oh, I don't know. It, it just makes everything so much better. It really does, um, and I love that. So, oh, that's exciting. Oh, what are these? Oh my gosh, this might be my favorite. I mean, the cute one, the cute pack was cute, but these are awesome. These are little origami animals. And we've got like turtles, elephants, bears, uh, some, cra some cranes, a swan, a little fish. This is much more my style. Color palette wise, you know, like a paler kind of thing. I really like vintage and I apologize for all the barking. I am, oh, this one's a goner. This number's a goner. I am home alone tonight. Um, my partner's working tonight. And when it's just one of us at home, the animals kind of become restless. They think like every car is going to be the person that they're waiting for. And I'm just a huge disappointment because I'm not him. And oh my gosh, these are so cute. These animals, I just cannot get over this. These adorable light pastel colors. Oh my goodness. This is, I don't know, I'm, I was kind of wondering if I did the right thing ordering all three and I have absolutely zero regrets now because these are perfect for, I'm not even caring about the numbers anymore. I think the numbers are goners. Um, these are perfect for my 2020 bullet journal set up. Okay. Okay. Day 16, closing in. Oh, these are cute. The little cassette tapes, and none of my students will know what these are. <laughs> but these are cassette tapes, and, and one's got road trip on it, party mix, what does it say, relaxation? And they're in hollow foil. I don't know if you can see that, but those are super cute. Punk 80s mix, summer jams. I'm going to hold on to this. I won't use this in my bullet journal, but I definitely could see myself using this as a journal journal. I'm trying to do that more. 
Um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, then it's like Mimsy Living Holy, like W H O L L Y. You'll see like all of my bullet journal spreads and my journal spreads. So feel free to follow me there. Okay, this is cute. Uh, oh man, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep this or share this. I might share this. This is super cute. It's very obviously. Um, I think this is Japanese, yeah, Japanese themed. Um, really adorable. We've got, you know, some of the baked goods. We've got some of the luck sim symbols of luck, the dog, and um, also the temple up here. This is really cute. Oh, but, you know, oh, I don't know. I'm going to set this to the side. I'll decide what to do with it later. I need to finish opening this for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to try and get this all set up to go out so that the next one that I show can be like my December plan with me. Um, okay, another set of buildings. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be taking this one to school with me. This is really cute. It's not holiday themed, which again means that I can use these year round, but I'm not really going to use these in a bullet journal or a journal spread. Um, I tend to use my decorations in a journal spread almost as like filler or as like complimentary to the photos. I just got a HP sprocket and I've been printing my own photos, which is actually a lot of fun. Um, so I'm really using that as, um, what is this? Oh, this is like vintage makeup. I think we've got perfume bottles and makeup pouches, lipsticks, nail polish. This is really cute. It's, it's actually kind of my style, the way that it's drawn, but I don't wear makeup. Um, and I don't, as you can tell by the awful state of my fingers, I don't really do much of that. So, um, I'm definitely going to, hi, Charlie. Oh no, this is Chibs. It's not Charlie. Say hello to Chibs. <laughs> hey buddy. So I'm going to have to finish up here in a second. Um, I'm trying to get this all in one take on my phone. Okay. So we have these gorgeous, oh my gosh. I don't know if the camera's picking it up very well, but these are like, I mean, they're not foiled, but when you move them in the light, it kind of looks like that oil slick hair color. You can see purples and greens and blues embedded, hi buddy, embedded in the, um, in the thing, and it kind of looks like fur. That is super cute. Oh, and it's got French on it, Chez Noir, I think, which I think, if my French is any good, this 21 is done for. If my French is any good, it's like night cat. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is one is really cute too. We have some more constellations and planets in a nice watercolor theme. That's super cute. Chibs, baby. What's up? What can I do for you? Huh? They might be ready to go outside. They just had dinner a little bit ago. Oh, I hear his brother chasing a cat. It might just be that they want to chase the cats. You guys can't chase the cats. All right, we're on the final home stretch here. I'm going to finish this up really quickly, and then I will take care of them. So we have a matcha theme here. I'm not a super huge matcha fan, but I do like matcha, and I love the little green foiling within this. I don't know if you can see that, but that is just so cute. I'm definitely going to hold on to this because even though matcha is not my thing, I drink a lot of boba tea. I drink tea in general, and I love all of the items that are listed on this thing, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. All right, three left. What do we have here? I have no idea what this is, but I am loving every second of it. This is really unique. I mean, it's obviously some kind of character. I don't know, but I love these. Our Lord and Savior coffee, that is like me to a T. Let me tell you a story. We've got uh, Yeet, LMAO, Sour Lemon, Sad. This is super cute. I'm definitely going to be using that in a journal somewhere. Absolutely somewhere. And this 24 is done. I don't even care. <laughs> All right. So we are at the home. We are within, we are at the penultimate sticker sheet here. Let's see what we got. Oh, come on. Where is it? There it is. Oh, this is cute. It's like a little coffee theme. That's super cute. This will definitely, I keep a food journal. I'm not very good at keeping it up to date, but I do keep one. That will go perfectly in my food journal. 
All right, the last day of the pop. I feel like this has gone on forever, but I'm already at 20 minutes. Actually, I feel like it's gone by really quickly, but I'm already at 20 minutes. Um, and so I'm trying not to hold you guys too much if you're still watching, which I hope you are. <laughs> this is cute. These are, it's like a fashion spread, but with little animals. This is cute. I don't know what to do with this. Maybe I'll use it in my... Or maybe I'll share it. I don't know. It's going to sit out to the side for a second. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if seeing like a live stream of maybe working through some watercolors or like bullet journaling is something you'd like to see. Um, I'm definitely up for it and I'm definitely looking into my options there. Um, and also let me know what you would use this notebook, this kind of notebook thing here for. I'm using the cute one to store all of my holiday stuff in it right now and all of my current current journaling projects. So it's got all the tags that I'm making and the tags that I've labeled like already in it. And then of course the pictures and the things that I'm gonna use in journaling spreads. The last thing I wanna show you is that the notebook comes in this really cute plastic case, like plastic um, like book cover. I won't keep it on there. I like this much better. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna cut these things out and use them in a journal. So this will definitely get a second life out of it as well. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you're just joining me for the first time. Bye.